uh, here I am with the demo uh, video for this uh, gate calculator and uh, first of all I would like to give a display about this calculator so you can see there are uh, all the basic functionality been given in the calculator you have here mod of x, x square, root x, 1 by x which are generally used ex, ln x, log x similarly all these functions are very familiar to us uh, but uh, uh, and here is uh, uh, degree and radian also given what we actually do is we uh, for doing so, so any calculation we first write the argument suppose if you want to find root 2 we first give the argument and then we give the root 2 so it is it is displayed over here what uh, mathematical function you have given and what is the answer you have written over here okay in this video basically I will be dealing with these four five buttons okay what are these buttons this here we have MC this with memory clear MR means memory read MS memory store M plus add to the thing that is previously stored in the memory m minus subtract from the thing that is pre previously stored in the memory ok let's have a demo first of all let us clear memory by mc now let's store 100 in the memory suppose this is my answer which i have been uh, which i have uh, actually uh, uh, which i got this from previous calculation so i would like to store this answer so i will do memory store and then i will clear the display and then what i will do suppose i am uh, calculating another calculations like this 96 now i want to subtract this from 1 by x square so what i will do suppose x is uh, 1.2 so what i will do i give a minus sign here then i will give a bracket then i will do x1 by x square so uh, first of all i will get argument 1 by 2 then i will take a square one this is 1 by uh, uh, 1.2 square now i have to write 1 by x square so i will do it inverse so here it is given reciprocal means 1 by square of 1.2 now i will close the bracket this means this whole expression means 3528 minus 1 by 1.2 square okay now i get this answer now suppose i want to divide it with my with my previous answer i will do divide and i will read the memory that is my answer that was already 100 so i'll get the result as 3.35.27 okay if on, if i want to read this answer i will do a memory store here okay i do memory store here now suppose i want i after some calculation i got this I want to add this with my memory read so this was the memory which I have been uh, currently stored in here so I can proceed like this way don't forget to clear the memory after once answer is your one question is finished so to clear the memory you have a symbol being here m is not displayed that means memory is cleared now let me uh, give you uh, illustrate you what why, why is this m plus and m minus is been given here now suppose sometimes you have to find an average of uh, suppose these all numbers so what you do is simply uh, store zero in the memory zero is displayed here plus ms means store memory with zero okay now what you do you want to add something to the memory what you want to add one m plus means 0 is added to 1 2 m plus 3 m plus 4 m plus 5 m plus just remember you have to press m plus only once so when you are using with this memory m plus be very careful by pressing of the button okay so i have actually what i have done i have added all the numbers so let's count out 2 plus 1 3 3 3 6 6 6 12 12 5 17 21 28 36 45 now let's check what is stored in the memory is 45 that's good now i want to find an average i will simply divide this by how many numbers nine numbers i'll get the five so this this can you this is how you can use memory plus now suppose i have something in the memory now i want to subtract from the memory i subtracted seven then i subtracted eight then i subtracted nine then i subtracted four then i subtracted five then i subtracted six okay now the only one plus two plus three is stored in the memory that is six so let us read memory read it's 12 why because you have subtracted only till here okay okay now you subtract suppose it is 12 in the memory now now let's do it zero now you subtract one from there now you subtract two from there and you subtract three from here you have subtracted everything now let's check the memory that is nine okay so you can uh, now get the basic idea for why how m plus and m minus is used okay sometime you need to you always need to clear memory before using these two functionalities m plus and n minus otherwise you will get unexpected results always try to don't mess up with this don't try to use m plus and m minus simultaneously clear up the memory and then try to use m plus and m minus uh, genuinely now suppose you what happened suppose 9 is there you store in the memory okay read memory it is 9 store in there here, okay store 9 clear read memory it is 9 okay clear display now what i if i do suppose i take 8 i want to add it to the memory so what if i do plus plus two time plus plus so i have added 8 twice to the memory 8 8 16 plus 9 25 now let's clear let's do memory it's 25 okay now in the memory it is 25 now suppose i want to subtract 10 
I have done minus, I minus 10 minus. I have subtracted 10 two times from the memory. So 25 minus 20 is 5. Okay. Now I have subtracted, suppose let's clear 9. And I done minus, minus, minus 3 times. Now I have subtracted 3 times. So what is memory read? Let's take it's minus 22. Okay. So be very careful by using M plus and M minus because once you press M plus, it's subtracted added one time. Once you press M, uh, M minus, it's subtracted one times. Okay. Thank you.